The Hanging Grimson Community Arts Project was a collaboration of professionals and local people with little or no experience. It came about because a few of our craft group members were also members of the High Walls Heritage Group that was uh, involved in a dig at Hanging Grimson. And we were so inspired by the environment at the dig that we wanted to do something in response to that with the group. And therefore we got the rest of the group involved, even though they weren't members of the dig, um, they all got very enthusiastic. And we had about 20 people over the period of the, the dig um, and the following year working on all sorts of aspects of art and craft. The idea of everybody being able to um, get involved in that was, for some people, they'd never done anything with a view towards an exhibition at all. But because we'd covered a whole range of different media, um, there was a chance for people to get involved in all sorts of things. And what has happened as a result of that, uh, for example, some people did silk painting and they've gone on to do a lot of that at a, for a personal at a personal level um and so because we've got this ongoing craft group there's always opportunities for people to do uh, different things the question of where the artworks are today is, is quite interesting we're based at the village hall in Thixendale and the committee there are very generous with their space and um, permitting us to have exhibitions, but also to leave things on permanent display or temporary display. And so one with the first dig, we made some big hangings and they were collective pieces. Everybody contributed to them. And so we've been allowed to leave those hanging in the hall um, most of the time. The, a lot of the artworks, the people who made them uh, look after them and occasionally we have brought them back together for different things. And the, the collagraph was something I, I hadn't done before and I'd already made this um, embroidered relief map of the dig showing the clear markings of where the earthworks were and the main pathways and so one of the things i decided to do was to make a collagraph which ended up looking like this i have a framed one somewhere but um and it's a print that you make by starting off with card just ordinary card this is fairly flexible um and then you do a reverse image of the layout. Now this is the, again, it's the layout of the dig thing. So the key roads are there, uh, the humps and bumps of where the earthworks are. And then th these were just stuck on, just scraps of card, corrugated card, textured paper. You can use a string, anything really. And then when they stuck on and I sealed them so that when I started putting printing ink on, uh, they wouldn't all lift off. And you cover the collagraph with printing ink, and then you have some paper that you soak beforehand, and then you press your print onto the thing and run it through a... Well, we, you can hand do it, or we have a small, like a roller printer that we've managed to um, use it just limits the size. You can make them any size, but if you want to go through you, whatever you use for printing, that determines the size. The, the decorated tiles are roof slates, actually, that were unearthed at the dig at Hanging Grimson. And most digs, things that go back into the holes. So I did ask if we could um, have some of those, which we were allowed to take. Not quite sure what I was going to do with them at that point. But then in the um, 
in the hall where we're doing the display, there is an old fireplace and we had the idea of covering that um, with a board and then making the tiles either representing either a roof or, or people were allowed to do whatever they liked. We did suggest that they might want to do things connected with the theme, but as everybody was given one and if they felt at all, uh, you know, they couldn't manage to do that, they could decorate it in whatever way they liked. And we ended up with um, a very effective um, installation and that still is in the village hall in front of that fireplace. The jigsaw um, was created by one of our members and she had this idea of doing something as a memento. And the ones that we had at the first exhibition were just a prototype. Now, Alison, who did these, has gone on to develop the idea further, but in the context of the, she belongs to another group that does um, archeological, investigations and they do a lot of um whatever they call it <laughs> going around magnetometry anyway so she has this group there and they now produce these um jigsaws to raise money for that group because they don't have a lot of funding um but i think she's getting a good response for them As regards future plans for another community exhibition, just yesterday, our craft group visited Warren Percy deserted medieval village site with a view to using that environment as the inspiration for some further work. So we had a, a day there and there were people painting on plein air. We had people doing rubbings, um, sketching, writing poetry. There were 10 of us went and we had a lovely day and I'm confident that at some point in the future, we'll be able to pull the outcomes from that starting point together. And perhaps uh, as it's not an active dig now at Warren Percy, but there are lots of artifacts, find out where some of them are and maybe be allowed to um, have those as part of the exhibition. <laughs> 